Connor came from Connor came up from Laramie with uh, Bridger with his guide and is looking for the hostiles or what they called hostile they're looking for the warriors and they couldn't find them anywhere out here they were up up north on the uh, powder but they they uh Jim Bridger knew there's a cat here Arapaho cat here a winter cat because this they capped here all a lot all the time you know this was a well-known winter cat for them and he bring them over here and when they got here there's only women and children here and old people and they attacked they attacked this cat and the uh, the women and the old people fought them soldiers and all the warriors were up on up Wolf Creek this is called Wolf Creek and all the warriors were up Wolf Creek hunting and they heard the guns going off and they came running back and by the time they got back Connor had took the whole village and they were heading that way and took the horses and um, what women and children they could capture that they didn't kill and uh, and the warriors attacked them and uh, got their got their village back actually got their village back and their horses back and Connor actually got in trouble for this by the government he almost got court-martialed or he did get court-martialed because he let the warriors get the horses and stuff back he rounded them up down river against the cliff and started shooting them all the horses but then the warriors came and got uh got their women and everything back from him so he was actually almost court-martialed for this but they built a park here and they let their children play there's playgrounds and slides and let their children play where our children and our grandmas were butchered and murdered you know it's not a good thing we call this battle where the women and children fought the soldiers that's what this is called that's what we call it just that name alone tells you you know women and children shouldn't shouldn't have been fighting soldiers you know they should have been fighting the warriors but they're so hungry this government was so hungry to get the warriors and they couldn't find them so they went after who they could you know and what they could and it was a peaceful camp in the Arapaho and this is the reason why the Arapaho fought with the Cheyennes in Lakota in the end because of this battle right here they were at peace with the government up until this time up until this battle then they they uh, fought this was in 65 the Fetterman massacre was in 66 <coughs> so it was, was a year later ago. and uh spotted tail was actually uh spotted horse was coming through here spotted horse's wife was an Arapaho and he was coming through he was traveling through here and he knew this camp was here but in the distance he saw them soldiers coming and this was black bears village chief black bear the Arapaho and spotted spotted horse was a Cheyenne and he told he told them that their soldiers coming their soldiers coming but they didn't believe him because this was their you know they didn't believe soldiers would be out here in their their hunting grounds and their land you know and so they, they and and spotted horse was a contraire or a helka in the cheyenne tribe so they thought he was just being crazy you know so they didn't believe him so his his wife went and got all their all their uh, relatives and they went over the hill they got up on the hill and turned back and watched this whole battle go down and then Sawyer expedition was coming at that time that's coming from the down the Missouri making a road spotting a road out and uh, sitting bull in them caught him over there on the on on the little bighorn and told him you know told him leave our country they attacked them finally they, they finally they talked and they got sugar and all that stuff from them and told them go over to Bighorns, you know, get on the Tongue River and go over to Bighorns and don't come back. So as they were doing that, right, the day after this fight, the Arapaho ran into the Sawyer expedition building that road right, <coughs> right in between here and Dayton and they had a 17 day battle between the bluffs and the river. So that's how bad they made the Arapahoes, you know, and usually they were nice to the soldiers and to the road crews and stuff like that, you know. A lot of history here for the United States. They carved the West, you know. This lady over here swinging, you know, oblivious to what happened here. I wonder if she knew if they were, the women and children got butchered here. I wonder if she'd still want to swing there. And just the idea of having a park where women and children got killed is crazy.